What is up everybody? This is Mr. Valhalla here with Miss Valhalla. Sorry about the last video. She wasn't feeling too good. Finally got her back in again. Today we are doing an episode on Bast by Tweedle Farms. I am looking forward to this one. This one is a very open bud. Not as dense as the ones that we, we've been reviewing. Has almost like a, a pineapple-y smell to it. Very, very green. Has lots of trichomes all over this. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll be able to see these trichomes a whole lot better than you will on the video. Follow us at Valhalla underscore CBD5. And make sure if you do not have an Instagram to go down, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and make sure and turn on those notifications, turn on that little bell over there so you know when we do our next videos. And also, soon we might be doing a Facebook for those of you that do not do Instagram. That is just an option. I don't know if we will or not. We haven't really discussed it completely yet. But on to the review. Today we're gonna just use or normal pipe. Um, one thing I like about the smell on this one is I'm a southern girl and it smells like southern iced tea. Like if you go to Walmart and buy the Lipton's iced tea box, when you open it up, you get that citrusy smell with that little bit of earthiness in it. Um, like you said, it is a very dry bud, so it falls apart pretty easily for us. Um, but one thing that I found really neat is that is frosted. We're gonna put a picture on Instagram. It is pretty freaking cool. Um, just the amazing color scheme and the frostness that you see on it. Um, this one is supposed to be more of like a nighttime CBD. So it elevates, um, you'll have that head high initially from what we've read. Um, you know, of course we're gonna experience it on our own and see what's going on with it. But then it kind of gives you that full body effect and it's supposed to be more like a nighttime sleep aid. So I wouldn't recommend doing this in the middle of the day when you've got plenty of other things to do. But let's light it up and see what it's like. What's your first thought? Oh, I ain't gonna spoil it for you. I'm gonna let you try it first. What do you get off of it? I get a deep, earthy taste. Like very deep. Um, I thought it started off very deep, earthy at, at, at first, but it kind of smooths smooth. itself out. Yeah, it smooths out on the exhale. Um, and that's where you get most of your citrus is on the exhale. It's got a good taste though. Uh, it's not very harsh. Um, sometimes the biggest fear of using these is the harshness that it does to your throat, but it's actually pretty smooth. Yeah. And it still has that citrusy aroma that I get. You know, sitting next to him, I can smell it. Yeah, it does have a good smell. It's not a very intense smell. It's very subtle. I like that. Again, this is not a very compact bud, as you can see just from the little bit that we picked off. Um, but like I said, it does have a lot of trichomes on it. Very, very dry. Not like crumble apart dry, but still not you know, soaking wet to where you can't get your fingers off of it. Which I have gotten a couple of those before that were just ungodly to try to break apart. Um, it does have a big stem yield, unfortunately. But it's worth it for depending on the effects that you want, in my opinion. Um, I can tell you right now, I can feel the slight head high to it. Um, I don't know about Dalton, but 
No, mine's um, not quite there yet. Me, it's kind of more of a relaxing, not necessarily sedative yet, but I believe if you were to smoke more of it, you could possibly have that effect. For me though, it's more of a calming on it. Yeah, and again, I love the taste of this. I like the smoothness of it. And as you get farther and farther down the bowl, what's funny is that it does kind of start to taste like tea. <laughs> which is kind of weird. It's definitely a very smooth smoke. It's not very thick and harsh. Doesn't burn your throat. And it's got a pretty even burn across it, which I like. I don't like for the burns to be uneven. But I like the taste. Um, I definitely give it a thumbs up on this review. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as saying smoking a little bit would give you that full effect of that sedation, but maybe depending on the amount. Well, really, that depends also if you are an avid CBD user. That's true, too. Um, how much that you use, how often that you use, um, and also how bad the issue is that you're trying to take care of. If you have extreme arthritis and extreme pain, this will get you to the point where you're starting to relax. It won't fully take you there. Which a lot of times, if you're going to smoke flour, the best thing to do is mix in, say if you're doing it for joint pain, mix in a, a topical lotion or a CBD infused lotion um, to try to get that extra little bit of moisture into your skin so that a way that the CBD can process itself through your skin and start helping you with all those joints. But yeah. For the most part, it is a very, very smooth, very good tasting. Um, as you said, it had a, a sweet tea aroma. I kind of got a little bit of like a pineapple sort of aroma in there. Does have an earthy taste to it. Ends in citrus, very smooth. Uh, not a thick smoke. Stays very, it was very well lit. Yeah. Um, overall, Bass is a good, is a good choice for um, the start of relaxation yeah. and, and I as would... I said before you know all different flowers will affect you differently and it all depends on the person too um, one flower may work one way one flower may work another but for someone else it may work you know the complete opposite direction uh, for one person, it may be a sedative. For one person, it may be a, a pain reliever or relaxer or lifter. Um, this one is definitely a relaxer for me. I agree. Uh, relaxant. Uh, rough day at work, hard day at home with the kids, whatever it may be. Sit back and enjoy with your spouse. And end the night good. Again, guys, if you haven't already, go down there and hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell for notifications on new videos. And make sure and like this video. If you haven't already also, go follow us on Instagram at Bahala underscore CBD5. We'll be able to post the link in the description. As always, great doing reviews for you. I'm Mr. Bahala. That's Miss Bahala. And we'll see you later.